privacy for a while. Of course, I'm sure. I've snuck out enough times to learn the rounds. Now, come on. Let's get to your room before we really do get caught. <laughs> I appreciate you worrying, but I ought to be much better if we actually go to your room versus staying in this bush. They will come back around, you know. <laughs> and I think it was spring bushes, rather. Suspicious. Now, come on, lead the way. <laughs> of course I have. <laughs> I wandered out at night millions of times. Not to say that I haven't gotten caught ever, but I've gotten pretty good over the last few years. What was this it? Oh, how exciting. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll watch while you open the door. Oh, no, no, I... I like it. Your place is very... cosy. It suits you very well. <laughs> Quite frankly, I... in all the years I've known you, I've never been in here before. Feels very much like you. <laughs> this is so exciting. I've never been in your room before. Never been in anyone else's room, actually, other than my own. <laughs> well, yes, I said I've snuck off before, but not to someone else's room. Usually it's to the town, square, or somewhere in the forest. I kind of just see where, where the wind takes me. <laughs> but I thought it'd be more fun if I actually spent tonight with you. Well, don't get all bashful. I don't have to actually sleep here. I just meant, you know, just have a little fun. You can just sit and chat if you like. <laughs> I just still can't believe I'm here. Oh, stop it. I think this place is lovely. It's much more real. It's feels very... I don't know. Not so posh. <laughs> Everything in my home, which doesn't really feel like a home. <laughs> it's all polished and shiny and you can't move it. Everything has its place. Sometimes it doesn't even feel like mine. <laughs> Is this a horseshoe? What's very shiny? Oh. It's from your grandfather's horse. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to touch it. Oh. Well. I feel like I'm holding a piece of history. Oh. No. Abraham will never think to look here. Quite frankly, I don't even think they know I'm gone. Well, as you know, after my last meeting, I faked terrible stomach pains. Said I needed to go back to my room. I stayed in there for quite a while, so that way all the different nurses and maesters and whoever else they would send to my room could get a good look at me. Pretended to fall asleep. Snuck out. Met up with you in the gardens and decided that maybe it'd be best if we would chat here. <laughs> the gardens were wonderful. It felt like a moment in time when I was there with you. But I could tell you were rather on edge, being out in the open, scared would be caught at any moment. So I thought maybe you'd be more at ease here. Plus, I've never hidden here before, so they never think to look. That is, even if they do see that I'm out of bed, but you have a feeling they won't know. So, as long as I return before my early lessons in the morning, they won't suspect a thing. 
so you need to stop worrying. <laughs> but I appreciate it, you not wanting me to get into trouble. But that's the thing. I'm the one that always goes looking for trouble. <laughs> not too much, mind you. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that wild. Just a little fun. I like spending time with you. I read all those stories about, you know, couples meeting up in the middle of the night. From opposite ends, two different worlds. <laughs> Obviously, they're highly fabricated, perhaps. You know, meant to be some romantic tale that is supposed to capture the hearts of those who read it. But I feel like there's a bit of truth to it. it certainly feels that way when you're in that position yourself. <laughs> so even though this isn't some magical shrine that we met up at, it feels just as magical to me. It always feels magical when I'm with you. You seemed a little bit more on edge in the gardens. So we didn't really get time to, but do you think perhaps I could kiss you now? <laughs> Nothing, I just can't believe it. I'm here with you in your room and I just kissed you. <laughs> Abraham would have a fit. My whole family would, actually. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> well, you don't need to worry. Because I honestly don't really care what they think. <laughs> I think they've driven all the suitors away, the ones they've brought to me. I decided that I wanted to. I have a future that I would want to live, and someone that I'd want to live it with. That's not to say that I don't want to help the kingdom, or, you know, maybe do some of my royal duties. But, that's an if. I don't really know yet. It's not really something I'm sure about. If my family doesn't like that, well, that's just, well, that's just too bad. Because <laughs> right now, what I want to do is spend time with you. And I'd like for you to be in my life. You've been in it thus far. But maybe you could be in it just a little bit more. <laughs> and when it dawns upon them that that's what's going to be happening, well... It may take them some time to adjust, but it hasn't been unheard of for a royal to, you know, court with a commoner. They all make a big fuss about it. But as the days pass, it slowly becomes the norm. The main issue they have is they have a certain vision for me. What they want me to be. What they've dreamt for me. Once that's taken away from them, well, not so happy about it. But when they're able to see a different future, one with you, maybe, perhaps, might be too early to tell. <laughs> I might be thinking ahead of myself here, but if you were to say, be together, in that way, they would learn to love it. So don't you worry about anything. Let me handle them, and you just keep on being you. Because if you keep on being you, they'll see you like I do. You're wonderful, kind, and hardworking. If they don't want someone like that helping me run the country, well, then perhaps they're not as wise as they thought they were. 
be about time that we have a different perspective. You've worked on this land. You know what it's like to not be treated like royalty. And that's just what we need. But again, I'm, I'm probably getting too far ahead of myself. <laughs> Talking about marriage already, am I? <laughs> Don't mean to fluster you. But I knew that you were a bit insecure about our different statuses. And I just want you to know, no matter how this progresses, that does not matter to me. Only you do. And all I know is I want you in my life in some way. <laughs> I'm happy you feel the same. <sighs> I must admit I am a bit tired. I had a long day today. Especially with sneaking around. <laughs> Perhaps we could just... Lay down for a moment. You know, just lounge. <laughs> Before I have to make my way back. <laughs> you're so cute when you're bashful. Come on. <laughs> we can just sit on your bed together. Just kind of lean back. This is actually quite comfortable. Well, I, I've never sat on a bed other than my own. Still very comfy. Oh. I hope you don't mind me leaning on your shoulder. <laughs> Just let me know if I ever make you uncomfortable. I tend to forge ahead without thinking. Oh no, I'm I'm all right. I'm just resting my eyes for a moment. <laughs> so, what do you have for tomorrow? What do you have to do? Hmm. I figured you'd have to care for the horses. Anything else? Any errands you have to run? Well, you have to go to the market. Perhaps I can see you there. Well, oh, excuse me. Well, <clears throat> Abraham wants us to go there so we can pick out some some parchment, and I don't know, he wants me to meet with some, some official there. Maybe I can slip away just for a few moments to see you. Or better yet, you can run into us and I can introduce you. But maybe it's best that we don't yet, and he'll suspect me hiding out here. <laughs> But still, it's always best to get on Abraham's good side in the beginning. And I think he'll like you. Likes hard-working people. Especially those who are honest, have a good heart. And that's you. <laughs> Oh, well, we don't need to tell him about that. The sneaking out part can be our little secret. You know, he always compliments on how nice the horses look when they come for the lessons. How well they're taken care of. He should know that's all from you. Maybe he already does know. <laughs> but either way, I think it'll be good. <laughs> You're very comfy, you know that. Mm -hmm. Very warm. 
Um, alright, I'm just enjoying the moment. Oh, my schedule tomorrow. Just the usual lessons upon lessons. Some lunches and dinners I have to go to. I'm gonna get fitted for a dress. It's just going to be awful. <laughs> and then obviously I have to go to the market. It's just for a ball that's coming up. <laughs> Thank you. I hope I do look beautiful in it. I'm glad you think I will. I'll have to show it to you. They're going to take the time to make it. <laughs> Especially a dress that I'm going to absolutely suffer in. I'd want you to at least see it. I must admit, even though the horrible to wear, the seamstresses always do a marvellous job. So much detail. Magnificent garments. Maybe I can sneak you into the ball and we could have a dance. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. Mm. Mm, no, don't worry. I can show you how to dance. 